armor for the mutilis coming out now, and I'll just check here. So it doesn't look like Nostalgia knows what Boo's getting at the moment, and so I just get a quick bit of vision. But obviously, with the Overlord positioned, Boo can see Nostalgia's fire. So Nostalgia's slightly in the dark about this um, Hydralist force, which started to be produced. And if we just look at the unit counting station, he's got out. 20 roaches, 7 hydralisks at the moment against 7 middleists, and the middleists, if they're microed well, might be able to do quite a lot of damage just kind of in and around the base of Boo if they kind of come in and the hydralisks have caught slightly out of position. So we've got the infester upgrade coming and. and sorry, uh, I'm not very good with these um, controls to check or change all the tabs. So we've got just a couple of queens out, all the roaches out, still just a 7 hydralisks and some more middleists being produced. So it looks like we're going to have a bit of pressure put on this third base of Boo from these Mutalists and the Roaches. And he might be able to take this down because those Hydras aren't going to be able to get into position very quickly. Although they are coming out now, but if those Roaches come in they're going to be able to do quite a lot of damage. So he managed to take down quite a bit of that health, but now his Hydralists are kind of caught out in the open. And even though they're able to do quite a lot of damage to these Mutalists with the high DPS, they're just kind of all on their own. When the Roach support comes in, and Nostalgia is able to quickly take down this hatchery and just run away. And now he's going to have a big head-on collision, and those Mutalists are going down pretty quickly there. Although it looks like all the Hydralists now have been taken out by the Roaches, so it's going to be Roach on Roach with some Mutalists support. And those Mutalists aren't going to be able to kill those Roaches too quickly, but nice fungal growth, nice fungal growth. It's just doing a lot of damage to all those Roaches, and some damage to the Mutalists. So all that Roach force gets taken out by Boo, with a nice fungal growth there. And the Hydralists, they all go down, but he's managed to kill quite a few Mutalists, and there aren't really enough to do too much damage now. So we've got three heavily damaged Middleists just flying back to the base. And we've got a nice macroing up a lot of Hydralisks from Boo. So he's going to be able to hold off any kind of future Middleist pressure. So good macro from both these players, but Boo obviously had the advantage because he was in his own base. So all those Hydralisks were just popping out. He's able to get that up. And now he's going to have to get his hatchery up again. So we've got three bases against two bases at the moment. Um, but Boo knows that base is there, so it looks like he's going to push out and try and do a bit of damage on that base before there are too many more Mutalisks out for Nostalgia who's kind of getting quite a lot of spine crawlers that is natural but not got too much defence here at this third base and it looks like that's what Boo's going to try and attack so with that Hydralisk Roach Force you should be able to take down the hatchery fairly quickly with the Roaches and kind of hold off these Mutalisks with the Hydralisks and I can't see his Infestors anywhere so it looks like the Infestors might be staying back at base and not supporting this army and he's managed to just catch his spine crawlers completely out of position while they're just burrowing and take them both out really quickly and now he's just got those Hydralisks going to work on these Mutalisks and it doesn't look like they're going to be able to do too much damage to those Hydralisks and now he's just able to get absolutely eat up that hatchery so those roaches take down the hatchery really really quickly when you got that many of them and I haven't checked the upgrades so we're on not not upgrades at the moment for the Hydralisks and the roaches against the not not upgrades to the roaches on this side and just the one armor which is pretty effective against uh, holding off against this hydralisk attack so we've got a gold base now coming up for Boo so he's going to be on four bases and he's going to be able to take an economic lead fairly quickly against the three base oh sorry the two bases now of Nostalgia and it looks like we've got some zerglings coming out now because Nostalgia's got quite a bit of extra minerals that is no to use with those high gas cost um, Middleists, and we've got a lot of roaches, a lot of hydralisks, and a lot of investors for Boo, who's not lost too many units when he has gone head to head with Nostalgia, so he's able to build up quite a decent force. So you can see he's got 18 hydralisks, 24 roaches, and it's those 24 roaches that allow him to just go in and pick up that hatchery just so quickly. So his force is just kind of hanging back now. He knows that he's got the unit lead, he's got the base lead, and he'll be able to take the economic lead once he gets all these bases up and running, even though the harvest accounts the same once he starts mining out his main base, so we've got not much left in the main base here slightly, possibly slightly more left over here, but soon it'll just be one base for Nostalgia and he's going to start falling behind against the three bases which will be left of Boo, especially with that gold mineral which he hasn't decided to try and saturate yet but I'm sure he will do soon, so we've got the third base coming up again for Nostalgia but that's still in a pretty risky position and it looks like we've got some Corruptors out now which is presumably just check on the production tab. We've got a Greater Spire morphing, so it looks like we'll have presumably some Brood Lords from that Greater Spire, because you, there's no point in having the Corruptors otherwise, since there's absolutely no air units for Boo, and the only thing they could be used for is the cor Corruption ability, which isn't going to be particularly effective against the mass units, the Roaches and the Hydras and the 
infestors that we see from Boo. So I've got to assume that he's getting some broodlords fairly soon and still Boo's not managed to spread the creep particularly effectively. I mean he's using his overlords to spew creep but he's not using the queens and it looks like we've got some zerglings just kind of wandering around the map. They might be trying to check for any extra bases. You've got the Hydras now taking down some overlords. So yeah, those Zerglings just having a bit of a scan around to see if Boo's getting any more bases. I'm not sure whether he knows about this gold. Yep, he does know about the gold. And it looks like Nostalgia's just kind of sitting back for now. Morphing now some brood Broodlords, so it looks like he's going to go in with some Broodlords. He's got five Broodlords on the way. And he's going to go in and presumably he's going to try and take down that gold base, I'd assume, first. Because he can just bring those Broodlords over to here and just fire the Broodlings at the hatchery and just take that down fairly quickly without too much risk since there's no decent kind of anti-air units that can get all the way over here and start attacking these units, especially with the poor creep spread. So yep, see those broodlords just starting to attack the drones now and these roaches and the hydralists is kind of coming back to try and fight off the broodlings. So he looks like he's not going to focus on the hatchery yet and he's just going to take down the drones. And the army's just moving around now and they're going to meet some zerglings and it looks like Nostalgia's not doing particularly well at the moment because his army's kind of coming a bit by bit and those fungal growth, nice fungal growth on the middle is those broodlords are just able to sit back and just hurl broodlings down at this main army and just so many infestors, I think there's possibly too many infestors although if he does manage to get some fungal growth up on the broodlords they're not going to do too much damage but it is going to hold him in position and try and move his army away so that those broodlings can't fire also that his high release can try and bust up this ramp and attack them while they're just stuck in place so Oh, a lot of infested Terrans coming out now, so that's going to do a lot more damage to those Broodlords, which aren't moving away. Really, really, really poor micro hit from the style. It's just really just be moving those Broodlords back so that they get taken out. But no, that was pretty poor controller of the Broodlords. He just kind of let them sit there and die against the Hydralisk and then the infested Terrans. And it looks like Boo's just going to push in and going to be able to take down the bases here of Nostalgia pretty easily. He's still got quite a lot of roaches out, so they're going to push more Hydra's coming on the way so he's just going to be able to push in and just take down the hatcheries really quickly and Nostalgia's trying to get up a fourth base now but that's not going to be able to come up in time because he's going to lose his natural before that happens so I'm not quite sure what Boo's waiting for at the moment there isn't a huge amount of force over here, there's just a few Lings and some Mutalisks so if he pushes in, now those Hydra's have arrived, he can just push in and just easily take down this hatchery almost instantly and then it's going to be GG from Nostalgia So. Despite the fact that Boo didn't spread any creep, even though he went for the ground game, he managed to effectively hold off the early pressure, kill a lot of Mutalisks, and just keep his forces alive and micro up. And even when he lost that base, he got that up slightly earlier, so it wasn't too bad. And now it looks like, yep, some more infested towns coming out, which will help the Hydralisks against these Mutalisks. Although there aren't many Mutalisks left, and yep, these roaches just able to tank the damage at the front from any Banelings, from any Spine Crawlers. And this is basically going to be it more Broodlords go down, so Nostalgia got the Broodlords, he wasn't able to use them very effectively, he possibly invest invested too much in that without putting on any pressure and he fell behind in the economic game and in the end Boo just managed to overcome it by keeping up with the Force macro and keeping up producing those Hydralisks and just keeping down the troop numbers of Nostalgia and just managed to push out at the end and those Broodlords weren't very effective, they just killed a few drones and then they just died to the Hydralisks, so it was a nice idea in some ways from Nostalgia, but at the end of the day he just didn't have enough forces. So it was a fairly easy win for Boot, who managed to just out micro him and outplay him. So thanks for listening and hopefully this one was a bit better than the last Zerg vs Zerg I did. And there'll be more coming in the future.